Hello all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. As we know that we recently started our uh, virtualization series. We created a one playlist based on VMware vSphere 7.0. And in the playlist, I think I have already uploaded four to five uh, videos based on the 7.0. And in last session, I think we discussed about uh, hot plug, how we can create a how, how we can configure and enable the hot plug in our ESXi virtual machine and we already installed the operating system we already mount the operating system to our ESXi based virtual machine so now we need to understand about another option another features which is available in VM's property so today I am just going to define you about the concept of snapshot means how you can create the snapshot and uh, uh, about the features which is available in our snapshot panel we also try to understand about the virtual machines files as we know that whenever we create our virtual machine in ESXi host, we are able to create a multiple virtual files and these files are really helpful to troubleshoot the environment. So let's try to understand about the concept practically. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to access my ESXi host. So the ESXi that I installed on my base machine, which is running in VMware workstation in another computer, the IP address of ESXi is 192.168.1.18.118. I'm just going to type on any browser because you know that uh, if you are using latest operating system, latest ESXi based, the uh, latest ESXi like 7.0, 6.5, 6.7, 6 so you must need to access your ESXi with the help of web client. Now we are on page of GUI and uh, by using this particular GUI, we will configure our virtual machines in snapshot. We'll try to understand about the files which is available in data stores. So in our case, uh, I think we are able to find one virtual machine is available, one data store is available, networking, we haven't discussed about the networking, so that's why only one switch is available. Just need to click on VM. I'm just going to turn on it. I think it's already turned on, so not an issue. Let's try to connect in, let's try to open in another page. Uh, so how we can do that, just select your virtual machine, go to the action button, and we are able to find one option console. So need to proceed with open console in new, new tab okay so this is our virtual machine that we install in our uh, vSphere 7.0 everything is uh, okay our virtual machine is working properly back to the web page and try to understand about the number of host number of uh, files number of virtual machines files are available in our data store so what you need to do let's click on storage and select the number of storage which is available so we just started uh, uh, our training so that's why we haven't discussed about the shared storage so that's why we have only local storage we created our virtual machine under in local storage so just need to click here we are able to find one option data store file click and see windows 10 folder available need to click here and now we are able to find a number of files are available logs file vsw file and uh, NVRAM, VMDK, VMSD, VMX, VM, uh, VMX.LCK, VM tilde, and VMXF. So these all are the file automatically created whenever we create our virtual machine in EXXI. These files are really helpful to manage and troubleshoot the virtual machine activity. So we will discuss about how we can use these files and uh, 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 we'll try to access our ESXI with the help of PuTTY terminal and discuss about how we can resolve the issue related to our ESXi but today's agenda to try to understand today's agenda to understand about the concept of snapshot we'll discuss about the files while troubleshooting now I'm going to show you the step how you can take the snapshot of our virtual machine let's try to understand about the meaning of snapshot first so as per the name suggests if you want to protect your VM if you want to uh, take the backup it's a kind of backup if you want to uh, configure the backup of your virtual machine the best way you just need to proceed and create a snapshot of your virtual machine. So how we can do that? Like uh, this is our VM. This is our Windows 10 based virtual machine. I'm just going to open the control panel. I'm just going to create few folders in desktop. Desktop of a Windows 10 operating system. Like uh, just try to understand about the snapshot. Only for uh, only to understand about the actual usage of snap, snapshot so that's why I'm just I'm going to create a folder and in the folder just need to upload few data few text file this 
this is test file for snapshot vm snapshot you can say that and save it then we successfully created one file and put it into the desktop now i'm just going to open our web page and take the snapshot of this vm select your virtual machine go to the action button and in the action we are able to find one option snapshot so just need to click here and we are able to find take a snapshot we haven't taken any other snapshot so that's why it's a first snapshot for, uh, for windows 10 operating system just need to click here and meanwhile i'm just going to open control panel because it will be captured the actual uh, stage of your virtual machine so you just create a checkpoint for your for your virtual machine basically so now i'm going to open the control panel only for the testing purpose because it will be freeze the entire it will be uh, capture the live activity of your virtual machine so now we are on page of uh, control panel back to the esxi host action and click on snapshot click take a snapshot type the name of snapshot so i'm just going to proceed with name of test snap no need to do anything click take a snapshot so it is in progress 23% 40% completed okay now we successfully created one snapshot for this particular virtual machine and while creating this snap before before create the snapshot we uploaded few data and uh, the location of our virtual machine was control panel so i'm just going to change it and also delete the test file that we created on desktop right click and delete it okay meanwhile i'm just going to delete it from recycle bin as well to understand properly about the usage of uh, snapshot fine so we successfully deleted our data from desktop but good thing is we have already taken the snapshot for this particular virtual machine now what i'm going to do how we can restore how we can obtain your data how we can get your deleted data through snapshot so it's really simple step that you need to use go to the uh, action button again select the snapshot and we are able to find restore snapshot if you have created multiple snapshot just need to click on manage snapshot panel it give you the complete information the number of snapshot that you configured in entire month so you just need to select the uh, name of your snapshot you can verify the date and timing and just need to click on restore snapshot simple click restore and wait fine we successfully restored our virtual machine i'm just going to connect our virtual machines rdp again you can see that console go to the action console a new tab fine so now that time whenever we take the snapshot uh, the computer virtual machine's location was control panel that's why we are able to see the control panel after restoring it and we are able to find our data as well so it means that if you want to protect your virtual machine not for only for the data if you want to protect protect your operating system and the applications that you installed in operating system you must need to create a at least one or two snapshot on every month so if you have a snapshot so definitely if any problem occurred you do with your virtual machine uh, with your application or with the, your data so by using the restore option we can restore our virtual machine this is all about uh, uh, snapshot with vsphere 7.0 so i hope you all of you understand about the concept of snapshot in vsphere 7.0 and let me know if you have any question or doubt and please do subscribe and share uh, teachme cloud edge so take care and bye bye we'll connect uh, in next session